KCAA.com. KCAA. Hey, welcome to another episode of Palm Trees and Progress Presents on NBC KCAA 102.3 FM, 106.5 FM, and 1050 AM in the Inland Empire and worldwide on all streaming platforms. I'm your host, Eric Savior Solosorio, and joined with us as always is the better half of the show, Andrew Berkeley, Big Dog Tavares. <laughs> What's up, Big Dog? How's it going, man? Good, man. How you doing? How you doing? Good, good. Our local Mr. Worldwide is actually, where are you at now? You're going to the, which airport? Long Beach. To LBC, Long Beach. Okay, and you're actually not going to take a flight today. You're going out there for what? Well, let, let some of the listeners know. I'm the retriever. I'm, I'm going to go get my my girlfriend. She is coming from. Oh my gosh, we've been in. We we started the show less than a minute, and you already brought up your girlfriend. Let's go. All right, dude. Go on. You already. But no, yeah, yeah. She, she's coming de- uh, back from Phoenix right now, so I'm on my way to go and get. Okay, heck yeah. How long was she out there? How long was she out there for? How long were you uh, just running wild, watching a lot of X videos and things of that nature? What, what, how long was that, dude? Uh, she was, she's been gone for two weeks, so she started Ooh, off that must have been a rough two weeks for you, dude. It's a I naughty mean, America. You know, I, you know, I just maintained the house and just kept, kept things up here, you know, okay. The way you're getting my defensive, family, it my... sounds like it was very bad for you. I'm glad, I'm glad that she's back in your life, man. I, I'm sure it was rough. Um, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Yeah, no, it, it's good. You sound raw. You sound raw, and that's as far as I'm going to get into that. But as always, we've got a great show planned for the listeners. We'll be chopping it up, going over some news articles that we skimmed and pretending to read, as well as talk about some most recent viral videos. But before that, we'll be introducing our guest, Cam Gnarly, and play a bit of his new album, North and Gnarly, which is available on all streaming platforms right now. So uh, you guys, uh, check it out. Uh, um, North and Gnarly on all streaming platforms. But uh, before that, let's uh, catch up a little bit more. Uh, what's up, man? What were you doing this weekend? I'm sure uh, you were watching sports, right? Uh, I hope all the teams gave 110%, and I was rooting for both of them. What's going on, Angie? You know what? As long as everybody just had fun, it's yep. all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> Remember to have fun. That's what I always say, man. So uh, where were you Not catching the games waiting. at? Where'd you get drunk and watch the games at? Uh, uh, Saturday, my parents and I, what did we do? I don't know. We hung out with them. Or there, yeah, you know what? I think we went to Heroes on Saturday, Oof. and then on Sunday we went to the 49ers game too Dude. with my uncle George down here. Oh, so that's awesome. pretty cool. We, Love me some we Heroes. Oh, okay. Heroes sponsor us, dude. Let, let's go. What'd you grab? Let's try to get this sponsor. Uh, we got some wings and, and fries, and uh, I think my dad got. Uh, got like an avocado burger. All right. Like wow, no, wow, 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 wow. Making it, make it really getting us. Really getting us, man. Uh, but shout out to the heroes out in Riverside. Yeah, yeah, they are. We got one in Fullerton and Riverside, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah it's like Fullerton and Riverside Connect. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What about you? What did you get into this weekend? Mm, what did I get into this weekend? I don't really recall. I've been going to golf night a lot lately. Uh, uh, there's this thing in Riverside at the AV in downtown Riverside. And uh, going to golf night on Thursdays, dude, four dollar drafts. It's been the dopest. This is like a not an ad. <laughs> this is not an ad, and, and they do not sponsor me. And uh, they don't. I don't think they're that happy that I'm there. But four dollar. It's like a college night, but I've been going with a bunch of the buddies. And um, dude, you get any hazy IPA, eight oh five, anything on drafted, four dollars. Four dollars, dude. I've been having a blast. And you come down here on a Thursday. We'll we'll dance to the Smiths or Joy Division. There's a lot of that playing mostly. And uh, okay. It's, it's a good time. It's a good old time. I I, uh, I just look at the chicks and I'm like, oh man, I, I wish I could talk to one of them. But you know, I have fun with my buddies, so that's always cool. That's always cool. <laughs> so, I thought you were gonna say you went with uh, Avelina. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, <laughs> what, what what else were we getting into? What else were we getting into? Uh, oh yeah, I also watched the show. Oh, it's oh, it's it's called Naked and. Translations, Naked in Translations, I believe is the name. It's like one of those like TLC shows, I think. And so the premise of this reality show, it's like a dating thing where these, <laughs> where these, uh, all these chicks from different uh, countries and don't speak English 
come to this house uh, and uh, they date, try to date three like uh, uh, tools. You know what I mean? Like a like a doucher baggers and uh, three dudes and like they they all speak only English and it is a great show. Andrew, give give it a shot. Lost. It's on Netflix. No, no, I think it's like TLC or something like it's love and translation. But uh you know, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So you gotta read a lot of subtitles because the chicks are, you know, from different countries and don't speak English. And I was thinking, because it's trash television, right? You know, I love me some trash television, love is blind, ultimatum, all that. Give it to me. But I don't think there's that much crossover from the people who like enjoy trash television and could also appreciate an artsy foreign film. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's fair. I, I hope we go to season two because I'm a big fan of it so far. But uh, yeah, you know, that's that's that's, that's you know, my weekend. That, that sounds like a good weekend. What about these subtitles? Are, are you a fan of them? Because I am. I'm a big fan of subtitles. I love subtitles because my I'm you know I'm 30 from years old and like uh, my ears I guess just aren't the best and sometimes I re- bring it back to like hear what it is. But it sucks when it's in a comedy and it ruins the punchline. You know, you're like, oh, uh, dude, what is going on? Uh, that's a good point. Go off with yours. I feel like you you were ready for a tangent. No, I I, I try to put if some. I got put on subtitles in college, and I wasn't a fan at first. And then my friend like really convinced me, and I just I really jumped onto it because you could watch it. Uh, you know, I got to get the volume down. Um, you also could pick up on things that you couldn't hear. Yeah. You know, you could like break yeah. it down. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you really miss out on like some details. Well, like, you get better details with it, I think. It gives it rewatch but, certain things rewatchabilities. You know, it's funny that you say that, but um, who I I I steal someone's Netflix account that I use, and uh, <laughs> so I I always turn off the subtitles. And gosh darn it, wouldn't you believe it? Every time I go back, subtitles are back on, dude. <laughs> so they <That's> haven't <laughs> they haven't got upset about it yet, or I haven't heard anything about it. But I do know they're aware enough to be like, this mofo is still doing it. But uh, without any further ado, I don't want to leave our uh, our guest Cam Gnarly waiting. So let's uh, bring on our guest. But we can't do that without our proper introduction, used by Greaseball off of uh, the Sleep Cowboy album. So here it is. She said I'll take some hell, yeah. She said I'll take some hell, yeah. She said I'll take some hell, yeah. I get by oh, I with a little help from my friends. I get by oh, I with a little by. help from my friends. I get by <coughs> with a little yeah. help I'm, from I'm my friends. I get by with a little help from my friend. Ain't that right? All right. So let's bring on our guest, Cam Gnarly. Thank you so much for taking the time and being a part of the show. Uh, for some, yeah. I mean, would it be a yeah. radio show if you didn't have the air horns? No, I, I feel like that's an appropriate intro. <laughs> Mandatory. Thank you for having me. Of course, thank you for taking the time and being a part of the show. Uh, so for some of the listeners who don't know about you, why don't you uh, fill them in on a little about yourself and where they can find all of your awesome music and um, your social media platforms. Yeah, yeah. You can find my music wherever you listen to your music at. It's available everywhere. Uh, if you want to support directly and you enjoy what you hear, you can you know, buy merch on camgnarly.com. And all my socials are under Cam Gnarly, C A M G N A R L Y. But uh, I'm a I'm a singer, rapper, songwriter, creative, curator from the Inland Empire, North End San Bernardino to be exact. And yeah, I do a little bit of everything, but I do it well. Yeah, man, I I know uh, I brought you up with a couple of my friends that uh been doing music in the IE, and they're like, oh yeah, Cam Gnarly for sure, because I was a big fan. I for sure have seen your name on flyers and stuff like that because. You know, being from out here in the IE, uh, SN Beats and all, all the, yeah, the yeah, homies and stuff. That's my dog. Uh, but off of the SN's newest project, uh, it was a call out, call in, dude. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I, he, yeah. he came by uh, the station and, and, and let us have a little early uh, preview of that one. And uh, I, I was like, uh, dude, this artist is sick. The way that you did that. Every, Thank it, you, bro. That, that should be like top 40s. Uh, radio bangers right now, dude. Thank like, you, honestly. man. Thank you. Yeah, that's on both uh, my album and the Sin's album. But yeah, we made that. Uh, Let him know. Last year, that's my dog. Yeah, me and the Sin got some joints. We got some joints on there too. The uh, 
the Don't Miss with uh, Cash is Green on there. Okay. And then he did the um, the first two tracks on my album as well. Um, yes. Dino USA and Blessed with Stress with. That's, yeah, we've been cooking. We got some more. Yeah, Sen is very particular with who he works and cooks with because he doesn't want his beats on messing with any artists that are corny or not. Working. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> wise man, wise man. <laughs> hey, am I right? Let's yeah. go. I mean, other people could be like, oh, okay, I'll sell you the beat for whatever price. But, uh, you know, there, there's definitely some uh, quality. And all. I, I, I'm always assured that there's quality on uh, if I see a Sen Productions on there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's top tier. And that's my friend. You know, we really... Uh, we really just got to take some time a few summers ago and just like hang out in the studio and you know I, i'm the same way as him we're you know we we both virgo brothers so we always talk about how like our connection is more organic than him like sending me a beat or anything like yeah. that and he was really familiar with my music before and i had heard a lot of his work too um in the in, you so know mutual outside respect the right yeah there. and just yeah. the fact that we was at the in the same studio but yeah, yeah. that's my homie we gravitated for sure you're on a couple of these tracks you're on more than one track on the uh ascent project yeah 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 I'm, i think i'm on two yeah that's that's awesome. call in call out and uh don't miss with cash is green yes yeah 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 oh well um do you have any visuals out for this because this project's a more recently dropped of yours the uh north end Gnarly? yeah north and gnarly came out like right at the end of uh december like december 15th okay is is there visuals for that you got any music videos oh you know oh, what yeah, yeah. hey let's I've, bring it yeah. up i think i saw something it looks a little familiar yeah 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 <laughs> actually we shot a video here i'm sitting loki in the same yeah. exact spot that at that particular time we had just set it up for the shot that we were doing shot to homie kyle Okay. Who, uh, had a scene here. Oh, dude, shout out. What is it? Whatever works. Yeah, yep, yeah. Shout, shout out whatever, to whatever works. works. Also on KCAA on yes. Sundays at um, I I forgot the time slot right now. Uh, I, I want to say 9 p.m., 7 p.m. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, but big works, gratitude yeah. to Kyle. And honestly, you know, I I want to this whole project, the North and Early, is about the North and the San Bernardino. It's about where I'm from. So you know, I, I really wanted to do all the visuals if if possible around the Inland Empire. So yeah, you know, I was looking for a radio station for a shot. And you know we we were able to line it up, but uh, for blessed with stress with so that video is out right now. It's doing really well. And then my last one for from this album, my previous single um, from last year it was called uh, "I Don't Play About You." I put out in September, uh, and that's more of like a dancey, like day party type vibe. Okay, um, yeah. But yeah, and I think and I have one more visual uh, for space and opportunity is out as well. That's a really really dope video. Oh, awesome! You got any shows lined up coming coming soon to promote the album? Or yeah, yeah, I have a lot of shows uh, coming go. up actually, yeah. or just like being outside uh, more than anything. But um, yeah. I'm performing this coming Saturday in Ontario for my brother Phantom Threats uh, benefit fundraiser. Uh, he was recently hit by a car, oh, and we're you know here, yeah. we're coming together to perform and raise some funds for his surgery. That's beautiful here. Uh, man. It's gonna be me and and Mers and and the homie Truly, um, you know uh, the homegirl. Um, uh, Zay is gonna be there. It's like a, uh, it's yeah. a really fire lineup. Okay, so sh they could uh, get more info at, at Cam Gnarly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can go to camgnarly uh, dot com as well and go to shows and it, it's listed there. Or yeah. you can any of my socials. I posted it on my story and uh, on Twitter as well or on X. I don't know. I'm still calling it Twitter. I call it Twitter. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah. On Twitter. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, um, I have that show this coming Saturday, and then February second. I'm sorry, February third. I'll be in. I'll be back in Ontario. Uh, for another show with the homie um, Mills was chosen, and Dozer and L.A. Deuce, you know some real heavy hitters from the the IE uh, M16, and then I have what's after that? And then after that, I'm actually doing a DJ set at the Ontario Art Museum. Uh, the history oh, of uh, arts. Uh, let's go on the. I think on the seventeenth. Yo, we get. Can we get some tickets to that? Like, it's completely that? free. It's oh, during yeah. the Ontario so, Art Walk. So, so. That's, that sounds like a yes to me. <laughs> yeah, definitely, man. It's, bro, I'll give you a ticket right now. Yeah, <laughs> we're there, dude. And you be free that day, bro. Let's yeah, go. Yeah. That's awesome. What kind of stuff do you spin? Is it is it like uh, what, what I, are we working with? I like to. Oh, uh, well, I'm I'm, do, I'm off a of Pioneer control. Oh yeah, no, but I mean, like, what what kind of jams um, are we spinning? Oh, I'm, I mean, I like to. I of course I play some of my music or unreleased tracks that yeah. I that I've been working on. Uh, can I? But, is any Debbie Deb gonna be there? Debbie Deb, Debbie um, Debbie I mean, maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe. But honestly, I like to play the stuff that I like to listen to yeah. and kind of add vibes to the ambiance of, of the night. That night, you know, it's going to be completely like clean music because it's, it's during the Ontario Art Walk. So it'll yeah, be family, family there yeah. and things like that. But uh, 
Uh, I'll be there with my homies. Got work. I'm like, we'll be playing some vibes, some some good, some good energy for a museum. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's awesome. So to hear. it's gonna really be nice. You mostly rap, hip hop. You know, a little yeah. bit, of, a little bit of dance, lo-fi, that kind of thing. Yeah. Do you do you have any like dream collaborators that you can like either for production or verses? Um, I definitely want to work with Hit Boy. I think. Oh, I, I think, he out uh, here too. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, I think I think I would make something fire with Hit Boy for sure. <laughs> He's just such an amazing producer. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, as far as like a like a collaborator on on like a song, like another artist, um, I think it would be really really fire to do something with like like Sir or someone like that or Anderson Pack. Like I think it would be really amazing. Um, I just feel like I I just love the 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 melodics of their music and the sonics, and you know I feel like yeah. I can really make something to go along with that. Awesome. Okay. Well, we'll get into it a little bit more uh, after one of these songs. Yeah, uh, yeah. Which, which jam you want to go on first? We, you sent me four. Oh yeah, you can pick what, whichever one you want, man. They all fire. All right. Let's go with <laughs> that's life. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. All right. We're going with that's <laughs> life by Cam Gnarly, available on all streaming platforms off of North End Gnarly. Uh, and you're listening to Palm Tree and Progress Presents. <laughs> And we gon' be alright, and we gon' be alright, yeah Cause when the night won't come to the light And we gon' be alright, and we gon' be alright, yeah Ay, hard days gon' come, that's life, ay Can't please everyone, that's life, ay Yeah, we do what we do to survive, ay Yeah, we do what we do to stay alive, ay World spins, man sins, pay dividends For all my years, me and my friends, we had to ride the bench Or walk the fence, a thin line to now and then, ay More on the line than we had back then, ay I know yourself, sh- no fear, sh- God confidence, it's the hurt self, sh- ay, no fear, sh- ay, know yourself, sh- God confidence, ay, on my job even when there ain't no photo proof, from the generation it ain't what you say, it's what you show you do, when no one looking, is that really you, how you healing, what you going through, every day feel like a fight, but we gon' be alright, and we gon' be alright, yeah, what's in the dark gon' come to the light, and we gon' be alright, and we gon' be alright, yeah, ay, hard day. That's life, ay. Can't please everyone, that's life, ay. Yeah, we do what we do to survive, ay. Yeah, we do what we do to stay alive, ay. Stepping in her demons, kicking down the devil's door Everywhere from within, it's just numbers on the board Running up nine points every time you check the score Big inlet, been the underdog, never had nothing handed Riding on the metro tracks, boy, we better transit Not the picture perfect type, like it when it's candid Having hella motion, keep up or you get stranded Know I'm top shelf, but myself understand it Want the upper hand, can't be moving underhanded Mindful in my moves, very positive in my branding Mantra on my mind, see me strength and understanding Work on getting better, just at being better Ay, not for the cheddar, but just for the pleasure Remember your value, know your life a treasure Hey, remember this message when you under pressure Every day feel like a fight But we gon' be alright, and we gon' be alright, yeah Cause when the dark gon' come to the light And we gon' be alright, and we gon' be alright, yeah Hey, hard days gon' come, that's life, ay Can't please everyone, that's life, ay Yeah, we do what we do to survive, ay Yeah, we do what we do to stay alive, ay That was Cam Gnarly with That's Life off of the North End Gnarly project available on streaming platforms. You were tuned to Palm Trees of Progress Presents on NBC KCAA 102.3 FM, 106.5 FM, and 1050 AM in the Inland Empire and worldwide on all streaming platforms. Um, yo, Cam Gnarly, You're, let's go, dude. And we're uh, back. Thank you for the positive vibes, man. Always, like, man. All, about, let, very, this all tunes, about being bro. very positive, man. All about the posi waves, you know what I'm saying? Let's go, man. So uh, can I, let's get into a little bit of like who are some of your big influences. Um, uh, man, I mean, I grew up just a, a student of hip-hop. Like, I just love music so much. And um, I was going to say Three Doors Down. I was going to say Three Doors <laughs> Down. I probably, I mean, I definitely Papa listened. Roach, maybe. <laughs> maybe a couple times. I did grow I was around in the 90s, so you know what I'm saying? I, oh, I, dude, I, pick it up, pick it up. You know what I'm saying? But um, some are, you know, my my 
earliest rap influences you probably like the early, like the Kanye the Kanyes the Waynes the Jay Zs the Biggie yeah. all that. And then um, I feel like the around the blog era, like some of my favorite oh, artists are like, let's get into that. You know, the the cool kids and oh, like dude. Pac Diz and stuff Pac like that. Diz. Like that's some of my. I get so mad that uh, don't mention favorites. it's not on streaming platforms. The yeah, Pac man, Diz. I still got. It. I downloaded. It. I, I ain't never lost it. <laughs> it's in my iCloud. But you know, I feel like those those artists, um, mm-hmm. you know, showed me a way about you know being independent and yep. impacting your community. And you know, at that time, it was just super inspirational and. Uh, I feel like I draw I draw a lot of inspiration from those days. Yeah, I mean, like, cause like you said, they they were kind of the forefront of independent artists being successful and yeah. how tour and like a, a um a more organic fan base. Yeah, yeah, you know, is is everlasting. Uh, Currency is another big artist that yeah, I bring up Currency on the show a lot. Yeah, inspiration too. Yeah, yeah, and um, you know, <laughs> we were when we were talking about the music of the '90s uh, and all the hip hop artists you uh, mentioned. Um, you know, there's all like a lot of rock and grunge and rap collaboratives yeah. during mm-hmm. the, during that time. Uh, whether it was good or bad, Limp Bizkit and Meth Man. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Dude, I saw one recently. Corn and Nas have a collab. Did I you know not, that? No, I did not. Dude, know neither that. did I. I and did and Nas has legit always been like one of my favorite rappers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that run with him and Hit Boy was crazy. Dude, yeah. I I would always show people those, and then like you, you guys know where I, you know, you guys know that full from IE. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys he it out a couple times when I was like, uh, yeah. the IE weather. I was like, okay, yeah, dude. A little light over here, a little light. Let's go. But uh, yeah, I, I I saw uh on Instagram. Shout out to like, uh, oh man. Oh, I, I will. I'll find it and, I, and I'll repost it on our Palm Trees in Progress at on Palm Trees in Progress on the Instagram page. Yeah. Uh, Sleeping on Gems at Sleeping on Gems. They always oh, post. Oh yeah, 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 I love that. Oh, page. dude, they, I love that page. It's the best, right? Yeah. And uh, and and, and I, one of them was like the the weird grunge and rock and like rap collabs in the early night or late nineties. And it, yeah. one of them, I mean, was, it, I feel like it was happening in the early two thousand too. Like yeah, yeah, you're right. Gym class heroes and Lil Wayne oh, or something. Oh, oh. Or gym class or heroes like and uh, Fall Out Boy and Lil Wayne. Yeah, oh. that, that existed. Uh, Fall Out Boy and Kanye. Yeah, uh, Paul, yeah, yeah. The Cool Kids had a joint with Lil Wayne at that same time too. Like very indie indie rappers and indie bands. Okay, remember like the Woodies and all that kind of stuff like MTV used to do. No. Like, you remember speak those? on it. No, speak on it. Oh, like uh, the Woodies is like these like indie awards that MTV used to do back in the day. It was no. around the early time of the blog era. Oh, dude, I was and heavy on so uh, many ma- uh-huh. so many bands. You know, a lot of I used to rock with a lot of like Fuel by Ramen stuff. Like anybody who was like coming yeah. out over there. Do you remember you and I? Yeah, you and of I, course. Hey, <laughs> shout out to Thirst. That's my yeah, dog. Yeah, Thirst. dude, yeah. Thirst is still killing it. I I'd love to hear his jam still. It's it's the dopest. Yes, yeah, man. Uh, I love. That's what I mean. I, those early days, I was still probably just getting into music, but. I feel like my those my career and early days are so tied to that early 2010 style of music and some of our favorite artists from that time are like some of the biggest artists in the world now. Oh yeah, it's cool. Like Double uh, XL Freshman used to call it pretty good back oh, in yeah, the day. Oh yeah, like, I mean that monumental year where it was like Wale. Oh yeah, Kid I got Cuddy. that. I got that still. Dude, so do I. I got that. <laughs> I still have that. Yeah, yeah. For sure. yeah, I was like, man, I wish I had sky uh, sky top supers like currency. Yo, <laughs> yeah, I remember the, I had I had some supers back in the day in the oh, early 2000s, dude, yeah, 2010s, 2010s. Yeah, man, man. I, I had some cool Terry Candy Cruz. Yeah, I remember those. Yeah, I definitely. <laughs> we had a lot more shoe options though. Yeah, yeah, we definitely were rocking all kinds of stuff. For sure, man. Uh, well, well, remember thanks. the creative souls who used to rock those shoes. Oh, yeah. dude, you know what? I was never cool enough to rock one of those, but I do remember them yeah, for sure. Used to rock those. It was like an eight with a fly yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> hey, hey, Andrew, you there, bro? Dude, no, this is great. Uh, I feel like I'm listening to the radio right now. I'm in the car listening to you guys talk. This is awesome. Shut up, dude. <laughs> That's our co-host. He's What's killing up, dude? it. What's up, Andrew? How you yeah, doing? Yeah, let us know. How's What's the traffic, up, bro? How's the traffic, dude? Dude, people suck at driving, honestly. <laughs> hey, have you noticed yeah. that after COVID, like, people are terrible at driving? I mean, they were already crazy no. before, but, like, it yeah. felt like people forgot. <laughs> yeah. They just do whatever they want, man. Yeah. It's crazy. It's wild out here. Everyone's it's like they're hosting away. a radio show while driving around. That's crazy, traffic. huh? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Uh, fill, fill us in, Adji. Fill us in, dude. How do you feel about, uh, <laughs> what's your favorite now? That's what I call music. Mambo number five. Song. Dang, yeah, I bought, I bought one of those. Yeah. yeah. I bought one of those. Look, I, that's probably aging for all of us. Right yeah. There, but, <laughs> yeah. You know, I bought a now 
21 or something like that. I think <laughs> I had like Fiesta or something on there. Fat Joe or something. <laughs> Fiesta. Fiesta. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, wait, wait. Pause, pause. Oh, that's R. Kelly. We're not doing that. Oh, no. <laughs> he's canceled. He's canceled. We don't listen we don't to that even, anymore. I don't remember that song. Uh, no. What are you talking about? It's out of my memory, man, dude. Man, let's get into the same let's present. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, How man. do you guys respond? How do you respond when the song comes on that at a party. Oh, crazy like, looks. Like, just crazy looks. <laughs> I just start looking right to left like, ooh. You seen that meme before when the guy's like, ooh, ah, ooh. Like, yeah. 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 Shrug, shoulders. Yeah, shrug. Like, I'm, I have a tie all of a sudden. I'm fixing. I'm like, oh. Yeah, I'm holding, a, I'm holding a red cup and looking like unappreciated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What a good time. Andrew, kick, kick down something, bro. You, like, kick me down some. Uh, oh, you know what? Should we get into the news before we bring in a new track? What's the news? Yeah, yeah. All right, Andrew, you got any news? Oh, we're going to break into some news articles that we uh, skimmed and pretend to read, but we can't do that without bringing on our popular... <laughs> Palm Trees in Progress presents the news. <laughs> Andrew, kick it down your first article from last week. Do you remember? Let's go. My first article from last what, week. Well, yeah, any, any of them, dude. Any of them. Do you remember, as a co-host, can you drive and bring up an article from last week? I, 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 good thing I'm on a red light. <laughs> I'll, I'll <find> <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is that a no? Okay, so cops shut down a massive 3,000-person uh, hide-and-seek game at Ikea. Oh, that's hard. Yeah, dude. Okay, so we could get into this for a while. What movie is this? <laughs> I wish. Am I right? More than 3,000 people planned a giant game of hide-and-seek at an Ikea store in Scotland. I would argue there's even there's not that many people in Scotland. But a team of police officers were, were not playing around and broke up the fun, according to reports. Five cops stayed at the shop the entire day to gauge whether folks were browsing for a cheap desk or actually hunting for the perfect spot to hide. So you guys, you guys remember playing hide? The, you guys remember playing hide in the seek in the mall? Hide in the seek. Or hide, in the <laughs> hide in the seek. Hide in the seek. <laughs> Sounds like a, a Lord of the Rings chapter. No, but uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like we played. Yeah, I played hide and seek. We was running around. Dude, Definitely. I feel like I would always go where the luggage, uh, like where the luggage is, you know, yeah. stored and stuff, and like move the display luggage. I'm playing hide and seek right now. <laughs> <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> what are they looking for me? Yeah, don't find them. Oh man! And I would just go go in there and just hide for the longest time, and kind of hope my friends didn't ditch me. Uh, luckily, <laughs> that never happened. You but can't that was... be too good at hiding because then <laughs> you're lost. Yeah. <laughs> True story. What 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 about you? Do you ever you ever play hide and seek in the mall or, or, or a store? What about going like yeah. when the shopping ra- the little uh, t-shirt racks in the middle of those? Oh yeah, those, that was always a great spot to hide. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right, right in between it. And then it that sucks. It sucks when it's just another lady that's not like someone you know. <laughs> it's oh, like, oh, oh, yo. I didn't got snatched out of there by moms a couple of times. Yeah, like, get out of here. Not to touch anything. <laughs> <laughs> You're and in the middle of all of them. Spot's too good. If your spot's too good, and, and it's, it's kind of boring. Dude. It's a circle. <laughs> I want to get. I want to step in there. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh man, I, I I remember hiding in a certain spot in a Macy's at the Tyler Mall, and some uh, like a worker was like reorganizing the, where I was around, and I was just like, oh, oh dude, oh no, no, no. Luckily, I was never found, but I would have been found. Uh, yeah, it would have been it would have been cool, cool time, cool time. I forgot I was on the ra- I forgot I was on the radio. I was like, where am I going with this cool joke? <laughs> Uh, that's good. So now, do you, do you got any other ones that you were uh, whipping to? You, you couldn't wait to whip out. Uh, no, dude. Just the, there's a few alien ones that kind of crazy, uh, man. Aliens are real. Yo. About that, like, okay, Tom DeLong from. You talking about that thing too? that happened in Miami? Yeah, yes, that's exactly what I'm talking Yo, about. Yo, I saw that. I saw that on the night because it happened on New Year's, uh, like New Year's night, New Year's Day. Get into it, guys. Yeah. I, I I seen the video, but you guys get into it. All right, so let me put my little tin hat on real quick. So <laughs> this happened. I remember I was it was New Year's, and then they were like, "Oh my God!" Like a seven point such and such uh, earthquake in Japan, and then like a few hours later, they're like, "Yo, in Miami, there's aliens walking around." There was like. Probably like thirty to forty police cars all outside, and like all this terrible footage of, like they're what they're saying is like an eight foot alien. 
And then I also saw some other videos of like some portals opening up. But also, it kind of looked like Doctor Strange, so it's kind of hard to differentiate <laughs> between, you know, science fiction and CGI is getting pretty crazy now. Exactly. Hey, yeah. it's, it could be a deep fake. It's a yeah, deep yeah. fake. Yeah. I saw my homie FaceTiming Obama. It was not Obama. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, what about Dude, you? I, yeah, I mean, I, I, I think it has to be something. Well, what, they ended up saying that it was um, kids, right? They went to the mall to break up a fight or a ton of kids that were at the mall. Yeah, yeah. But but then, like, the part that I think is eerie is that it was, a, like, a lot of police cars for a kids, for a little couple kids, yeah, teenagers, no, yeah, right? right. And they right. stopped the air traffic at the uh, at the airport, like, right next to that mall. So, I don't know. It seems I far-fetched. No, I, I think it was alien. Oh, and I, 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 I'm, I be on TikTok. So, and, and I saw this <laughs> other thing that said, if you take the longitude and latitude of that particular area and mall and put it backwards, it... It will take you to Antarctica, or is it Alaska? Wherever the cold place right, is, right? You know what I'm talking about—the one where they say <laughs> other aliens are. Yeah, yeah. But you know, you, that's a great point. From whatever they said, if if it was the kids fighting, why you guys need so many freaking uh, SUVs? Like, yeah, dude, know. what's going on? That, oh, I've, seen, yeah. I've been I, kids. I've been point. a kid fighting, and I didn't see that many cop cars. Yeah, dude. I was just at uh, <laughs> my my little nephew's birthday party two weeks ago. They were fine. Yeah. <laughs> No way. Yeah, my shit. All I would need, honestly, if they all got into it, shin guards. <laughs> I, hey, I'm just I'm ready for the alien debut. I feel like that's that's what our generation is missing. Would it, <laughs> would we? <laughs> hey, if this, come on, aliens. Yeah. We're trying to get this generation let's lit. Get this season started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, let's go, dude. I, I mean, I'll wear all my cool like uh, alien socks. In, oh like, yeah. Al- you know what I mean? The old school. I feel like, like aliens are probably like super woke, and they're like, "Hey, that's disrespectful." Yeah, dude. Okay. I don't look like, I don't look like that. <laughs> okay, that's a stereotype. This is not Independence Day. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Welcome to Earth. Be, you Get know, back to work. Yeah. <laughs> That's not cool, dude. Like, I get it. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I like comedy. Know, I saw that too. You know, I've been watching <laughs> South Park's funny, but like, come on, dude. They do it satirically. <laughs> oh, man. You were tuned into Palm Trees and Practice Presents. Uh, we are with our guest, Cam Gnarly. You're- we're going to get into another jam right here off of his North and Gnarly project available on all streaming platforms. Let's get into a blessed. Blessed with stressed. Check, check, check. Hey. It's a good and a bad, come with it. I can do it, I can do it. Hey. Not getting all this shit. Bitch. Hey. Uh, uh. Actively work to unlearn, full of the healthy discern. Two papers slow up to burn, pass up, I put in a urn. Brand new life that I had earned, back in this bitch never left. Slip through the cracks that was left, over the odds that was stacked. Matrix I tapped in and hacked, tell him it's more than just black. Gifted and get on the plaques, this is a shining example. You can come get you a sample, you can run up and get trampled. Don't put your hands in that basket, I'll make you scramble your tactic. Thomas, we often make classics, yeah. Hey. I keep the balance every day, your guess is as good as mine I am just reporting from a window that's inside my mind Drawing out the lines, seeing through the signals and the signs Well traveled for these winds, more than local we not twins Went through hell to clean my sins, I know karma comes and spins Feel different, got thicker skin, stay authentic through the thick and thins I got a greater grasp, hoping that this feeling lasts But I know change is inevitable, it won't miss your ass Hardships that I made it past Went through flows where most would have crashed Waves of tears turn to cash Real one in my autograph Valid face card My name is my name I pay the faith card God gifted the game To live and maintain uh. hey. And we say Same shoe Blessed with Same shoe Stress with Putting in this effort And still I feel restless Knowing that I'm gifted I still gotta press shit Seeing better days Came long way from dark to living I'm blessed with same shit I'm stressed with
Now was blessed with stress by Cam Gnarly off of the North End Gnarly yeah. project available on all streaming platforms. Let's go, man. Is uh, blessed with stress with. Blessed with stress with. Blessed with stress. But now I'm looking back and I was like, man, so long. I should have just. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, dude. So, some of my favorite pop punk album uh, songs are like just a whole like essay, basically. Yeah, for yeah. real. I, I, I love that kind of stuff. Yeah, you know what I mean? I always appreciate that. Shout out to Ascend Beats, too. Ascend, he produced that. Shout out to Ascend Beats, homie uh, of the show. And uh, man, those Ascend mixed bags. We oh, were yeah. just talking about them a little before the yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, I got, I have one, in, a couple at the crib. That's oh, my dog. dude, yeah. yeah, I was, I was blessed enough uh, when he stopped by the, uh, the station. Andrew, you there? Yep, I, yep, I smoked yep. it all, bro. I smoked it all. I'm sorry oh, about that, bro. Ah, I, I saved oh, it for him, dang. but you know what? I told him I was like, bro, come by, and he, you know what he kept saying? Bet. I don't, I don't. I'm 31. I don't know what bet means. I say bet all the time. See, <laughs> you're cool. but obviously you're cooler than me. I, I, I actually throw it like a I bet on it. Like, <laughs> See, I bet. I, I know. I, I'm familiar with that. Yeah. I'm familiar with I bet. I just straight up like bet. I'm like. Oh. Yeah, Loki. When you just say bet. It's probably not happening. I'm like, bud. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, if I say, all right, bet, that means I'm oh, I'm acknowledging yeah. what you said, and now But don't bet. count on it. Don't hold your breath. Don't count on it. Yeah, but just bet. I mean, you might as well have said, like, yeah, I'm going to see. Yeah. 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 And, <laughs> no cap, dude. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> I, I feel as comfortable doing that as, like, wearing, like, cuffed dickies that are, like, too tall. I, I'll cuff my dickies all day. Yeah. But, like, you know how the hipsters do? I'm like, I'm 31. I can't. I can't do that now. You can't. You can do it. You can do it. I, I, well, you know what? Good, thank you. But like any of my friends do that around me, I'm calling right, you out. Cooked, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Them. I'm like you're 31 and trying out a new style. What's going on, dude? <laughs> you, you good, bro? You good? Are you good? Yeah. yeah. I'm feeling. I'm feeling new today. I'm trying yeah. something new today. <laughs> yeah, aliens no, are coming, bro. It's all new. What are you talking about? Yeah, aliens. We are got coming. new aliens. I got new pants. <laughs> Let's go, dude. I still love the woke aliens being like, what is going on? Yeah, they're going to be like, like, are you serious? Are you doing a, are you trying to be me? Are you doing a me? No, I will vaporize you. Yeah, that's real. <laughs> yeah, it's a little different than your vape, bro. <laughs> For real. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, what a good what a good time. You're tuning to Palm Trees and Prague Presents, just in case you're hopping in your car right now and tuning into the station. We are with Cam Gnarly. You're- and Andrew, you still driving there? You Have you picked up your lady yet or... No, not yet. I'm sitting in the cell phone parking lot, so I am chilling. Oh, nice. Okay, so you, do you remember the Louis Vuitton story yet, or what's going on, bud? Right. Louis Vuitton has launched a sandwich bag price at over three thousand oh. dollars. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. How many so, LVs does it have on it? <laughs> Ad, you do you remember? I think at least twelve. It better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It better be shaped in the form of an LV. <laughs> I think it was like a what is it? The uh, all over checkered board print looking one. That oh, I you know what? I have seen that. I actually yeah. saw uh, a video earlier today with Lakeith Stanfield with that. Oh. With that. Logo. I bet you the thing is he probably got that sent for free. Probably. Hey, yeah. but shout out to Lakeith. He's from San Bernardino. He shouted, oh, he shouted out San Bernardino. Let's go. Uh, so uh, Louis Vuitton's men's creative director introduces a high fashion accessory resembling a classic paper sandwich bag. Uh, priced at over $3,000. Like I said, the large clutch made a... Ooh. Oh, bro, you feel that earthquake, Andrew? We're talking too much trash right now. Oh, it's still going? Oh, earthquake, dude. Earthquakes, the no, aliens. It's the aliens. We talked a lot about oh. the... Uh, yeah, sorry we guys, we were just joking. <laughs> y'all, yep. y'all need to they're, they're tuning in. <laughs> hey, I feel it. Yeah, yeah. Car, that's what she. It. That's what she said. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome, dude. That's how you know the aliens were like. That's I think like a thumbs up on Spotify or like. Oh yeah, for yo, sure. Like yo, you guys are popping. Let's go. Cam gnarly jams. Let's put on more Cam gnarly jams. Is what they're saying. Let's play. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hey, uh, what about call in, call out? What does that mean? But oh, call in, call out. Yeah. Well, yeah. we got it. We got some jams. You can play that if you got it. Play it. Oh. If you still got it, play it. Oh, okay. Well, Andrew, keep talking for like two seconds while. Andrew, did you really feel that earthquake? <laughs> I think so. Or let's, I, I, I might be too big and I moved the car. I don't know. Yo, I was about to say. By, pretty hard. <laughs> by, the, by the way, man, I've been meaning to talk to you about it, Andrew. Come on, dude. You got you to watch yourself. You're looking pretty big right now. What bro. You, <laughs> I actually I'm been a losing. Funny, bro, in the face. That's the real reason I didn't want to do the Skype. <laughs> it's, not even like, it's not even like a chubby. It's like a bloated thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> Too much beer, man. 
pace. You gotta hydrate, bro. I, 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 I'm with you on that, honestly. Whoops. All right, let's let's get into. <laughs> go go on, go on while I get this going. <laughs> no, I'm trying to grab my facial hair like you guys. <laughs> <laughs> he knows, dude. He knows what it is. It's like it it, it is the best. Uh, it's it's the best makeup kind of stuff. So we're gonna get into call in, call out, Cam Gnarly, Ascend Beats. Let's go. Aliens, this one's for you. <laughs> yeah. I'ma call you out to call you in. Uh. Let's keep it even on both ends. I'ma call you out to call you in. I know where I stacked against us. Let's keep it even on both ends. Through the shifts and the curves and the bends. Even when I'm lost, I'm gonna lift up my friends. Stay down for the time we ascend. Up, no strap for me, it's drop for them. Uh, it's not on us, it's in us. Bad bro, my bottom dollar is the bounce back that matter most. My backbone don't be in stand ten toes, not falling. Bitch into my lows, growing in the shows. I'll play the spook at the dope till I go ghost. I'ma work my way in. To see, then explode these words. Mike spark the brain, get the story told. Belly scratch the surface, dig deeper. You gon' find some gold, low. And behold, you gon' see the legend of old. Hey, I done seen some moves, made me question who I trust. If you can't keep it silent, stay away from us. Don't let yourself down while you coming up. I'ma make you step it up if you fucking up. I'ma call you out to call you in. I know where I stack against us. Let's keep it even on both ends. Through the shifts and the curves and the pins. Even when I'm lost, I'm gonna lift up my friends Stay down for the time we ascend up No strap for me, it's strap for them uh, If not on us, it's in hey, us hey, 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 I come with many gifts uh, uh, Don't be my nemesis uh, It could all be so simple, yeah Miss Lauren Hill taught us this If that's it, who you tryna down here, crucifix I'm more concerned with second chips, not selling so for clicks I said it could all be so simple but then I listen in. Hey, if it's up for me, then it's up for us, yeah. Hey, keep it thorough, keep it honest, that's a plus, yeah. Hey, I'ma tell you something as a friend. Stop doing shit that you said you never do again. I'ma call you out to call you in. I know when the eyes stack against us. Let's keep it even on both fins. Through the shifts and the curves and the bends. Even when I'm lost, I'ma lift up my friends. Stay down for the time we ascend. Up, no one's dropped for me, it's dropped for them. That was Cam Gnarly with Call Out, Call In, by uh, produced by Ascend Beats, which is off of Mixed Bag and also off of North End Gnarly. Yeah. You're, yeah Dude, you're, I love you're, that you're, one. Yeah. Thank you, dog. Thank you. That's a, I know it's a banger. It's a hit. Yeah, that's a hit. That's, that's, what that's we for make. sure. That's what yeah. we make. That's all y'all make, for sure. I, I could get from all the tunes. So uh, let some of the listeners uh, know who are um, not familiar where they could find you uh, in uh, all the Oh, yeah, stuff you can find time. my music anywhere. I'm honestly, I'm in your pocket right now. I'm on your charger right now. Pick up your phone, type my name into any platform that you listen to your music on, and you're going to find my music. Back catalog, present catalog. It's all fire, and it's all going to hit. It's all very positive. That's right. That's Cam Gnarly. Was that that was your beat right now that we just played that caused that earthquake? Am I am I? I think so. Yeah. That was a four point five. Yeah. Real. That, I, we you know we and also the aliens heard us talking crazy, but they you know <laughs> yeah. they probably just turned it up too too loud. That's what happened. Yeah, I was I, I was scared the rock was gonna come through in a helicopter. And be like, we got you, dude. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, I mean that's why I said I've been playing hide and seek with Dwayne Johnson. He's <laughs> he's trying to find me. He's not going to though. <laughs> You guys, I heard I heard The Rock and Netflix signed a pretty fat deal with WWE and Raw. Uh, look it up. That's uh, something I just got a text from from one of my friends who's a dork. Let's go. I mean, shout out to Dwayne. I just watched that uh, Iron Claw movie. Oh, speaking of like wrestling, how was stuff. how was that? Was it good? Oh, it was amazing. I went home and hugged my brothers for real. <laughs> yeah. I was like, hey, I love you, bro. Let's, <laughs> let's go. Let's, let's go to the mall real quick. <laughs> yeah, that's right, dude. Uh, what, what what what's that one on? Oh, it's a A24 movie. It's, um, I think it's in the theaters right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, it's in the theaters. It stars uh, Zac Efron and I think, and that one, the, the one actor who's the lead role on uh, The Bear. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But yeah Jeremy it's about Allen the, White. Yeah, I guess. yeah, yeah. It's about the, um, I forgot the last name. It's like a, a famous wrestling family. 
uh, blah, 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 the Von Eric. Yeah, the Von Eric's. Yeah, yeah, the Von Eric's. Oh, okay, okay. And they had this okay, special move called the Iron then. Claw. Hey, is Vince McMahon in that movie? Or like, no, does no. someone play Vince McMahon? In that no, movie? they don't. Um, the most of their story happens like earlier. It's not really about the WWE. Oh, okay. They, they loosely talk about some of the bigger wrestlers like uh, Ric Flair. Yeah, I would love to. Oh, cool. Like, <laughs> I would love to see anyone like play as Vince McMahon, like walking. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to. They have to have some movie where there's a little bit of SmackDown in yeah. there because that era was crazy. Dude, SmackDown, then SmackDown versus Raw. Yes, all yes. those guys. What was the first SmackDown game you had? Oh man, I do not really remember. We were broke, so we would okay. just get the hand me downs, oh, and yes. usually you just yeah. get the CD yeah. and not the box. Oh, so. dude, yeah. <laughs> hey, I get that. I I remember one year for uh for my birthday, I went to GameStop and. And um, my mom took me there, you know, and she, and we grabbed, I forgot, whatever, like, used games and all that. Yeah. And I mentioned, I was like, oh, it's my birthday. <laughs> and the guy at GameWorks must have felt like, he was like, oh, it's okay, dude. Like, I, I threw in WWF Attitude. Ooh, in there okay. just a the gratis, bro. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Stone Cold just yeah. flipping the birds. Yeah, and like, I'm all about that. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I also got a cool little uh, a CD case uh, for all my games. It's like a Spalding basketball-looking thing. It was oh, awesome, cool. dude. Dope. Yeah, shout-out to Dude from GameStop. Valid like, memory. <laughs> w, yeah. w memory. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's right, man. Yeah. How'd you? How's it going? Man? Is, is your lady in the car yet? What's going on? Dude, this is I like... don't know what's up with this. It's, it's, <laughs> hey, I think, this is I think you might want to see if she's okay, car. bro. Yeah. That was a pretty big yeah. earthquake. She may have fell down. Yeah, this is a play. Uh, dude, they play. must have shut something down over here or something because everybody's, we're all just piling up now. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get back. Hey, man, could be some eight foot alien walking around. Yeah. You yeah. said that the earthquake was somewhere like the. The spot originated somewhere in um, the foothills near Rancho and Upland. So okay, it's pretty close. That's why I was hitting. Yeah, that's so why we hit. Yeah, yeah. We, we, I felt over here like a gnar, gnar, cam gnar. Let's go. Yeah, I'm in here shaking, <laughs> the, shaking up the world, mom. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, oh man, dang, dude, it's pretty how fast you get the news. Did you guys follow uh, what's up with Riverside, the Instagram page? Oh yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah I mean, he's already posted about it. I that mean, yeah, quick. it's like, it's you know, remember like when people used to be on Twitter and the earthquake happens and like hundreds of earthquake tweets? <laughs> oh, I felt like that. The same thing. Yeah. I used to always be on like MySpace be like, remember when you'd post a bulletin? Oh, and man. And I'd be like, faded, dot, 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 Dang. super faded. Bulletins, bro. <laughs> yeah. That's like, that is pre like the liking of things. <laughs> yeah. Like people, you would just, it, it wasn't a like anything. It was just like, you'd see it. Yeah, you just say like was seen by. Yeah, I think it's um kind of crazy that uh like the language of oh. liking something because especially from being California, you say like as like you know like right, like that like right there. Right, right. But right. the other side of it is like I don't necessarily like that. I'm just doing what the <laughs> app says to do when you appreciate something. But I don't. Maybe I don't like it. Maybe I like. Maybe I double tapped it because I dislike it. But yeah. the language of it's like, oh, did you like that? I didn't like it. I don't like it. It's called a like. I don't really love it. Yeah. I don't love it. It's just happening as love. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, you know, I got another little article, Andrew, if you want to get into as well. Uh, so about the Emmys, uh, not so much about the Joy Coy uh, thing, but uh, we got Better Call Saul lost all 53 of its Emmy nominations. Oh, wow. I don't know if you guys heard about that. Yeah, okay, yeah. So uh, Better Call Saul, the Breaking Bad prequel, made Emmy history with 53 nominations over its six seasons but face a unique record of not securing a single win. Uh, marking it the most losses in Emmy history, despite critical claim of uh, Bob Odenkirk's portrayal. And, ev you know, I mean, I, I don't know if you guys watch the show. Do either of you guys catch the show? I did watch it. I watched I the did. early seasons. Yeah, And I was too. a big fan. I was a, I was a big fan of the intro mm -hmm. when he actually opened up the Cinnabon. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah, was yeah. like, I remember that in the show. Yes. I, I like, really oh. like, you know, I was a big fan of Breaking Bad, so I, I, yeah. I flew over there. Uh, I think it's definitely a really valid spinoff. Uh, oh, for yeah. sure, yeah. And honestly, Bob Bodenkirk might have been my favorite character yeah. with his little Hello Kitty flip phone. Yeah, <laughs> like legend, dude. And but, I like Mike. I was glad to, you know, Mike. <laughs> oh yeah, he was yeah, in there too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I also like Mike the movie. I like like Mike the movie too. Yeah, but, shout <laughs> out, shout out, Shad Moss, Bow Wow, <laughs> big go. fan of Bow Wow. Uh, UC College. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah, it was, it was a great, it was a great show. Uh, crazy that it. For all of that, did not catch any awards. Um, 
What, what yeah, the, did catch you? Uh, the, the bear. bear. The bear cleaned up. The, the bear, bear cleaned, cleaned up. up. Something else. Something else. Yes, cleaned up chef. Uh, are you guys a fans of the bear? You guys watch that? Yeah, I, I liked it. It was really good. It, it's really good. It's like a dramedy. It's it's funny. It, okay. It, it's like so it's like kind of like shameless sincere. a little bit. Yeah. Speaking of you know him yeah. being in shameless, yeah. but it, it it is like that, but not as uh. I don't know, like ghetto. Yeah, it might. <laughs> it might make you want to smoke a little bit more cigarettes than ratatouille. Yeah, yeah it makes but, you want to be. It makes you watch your corners. I'll definitely say that. Like, <laughs> I'll be turning a corner. Like, I need to oh, make someone aware that I'm turning a corner. Dude, you know uh, excuse me, chef. I've never, I've never worked in the uh, in the kitchen or anything like that. But I've dated chicks that do, so I get the joke. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, hey, it's real. If you watch the show, you'll understand as well. That's that's a part of it. <laughs> yes, chef. Yes. Uh, did you did you uh did you or your lady that you still haven't taken care of uh, catch it yet or what? What's going on? Oh no, the aliens took him out, dude. I'm it's pretty either sure. that or you know the parking garage. Got her, guys. It was success. Oh, oh hey. Antonia, what up, Antonia? Say boo 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 boo. What up, big <laughs> dog? Hi. We're glad that you made it safely and uh, the aliens didn't get you. There's some. Ew. It, yeah. The aliens didn't get her, guys. Tell, okay, uh, Antonio. Here. Wonderful. We, we, got, we got four minutes. What's going on, Antonio? What kind of snacks did you have on the plane? Did you take a Xanax before? Did you have any drinks? What's going on, dude? I never forget the Xanax. <laughs> yeah! So legend. Legend. I haven't had Xanax in a long time. <laughs> what kind of snacks was it? Was it trail mix? Was it? What's going on? Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's like a trail mix. It's like a trail out. mix, so it's not. It's like an off-brand trail mix. I expect it's yeah. better. Than, there's probably it's gaba. Like a, like a text mix. Oh, okay. All right. I, I, I assume there's gaba ghoul in there because of your origins, but there, you, you know, that's oh, that. They knew I was coming. They knew they had to ask. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I always tell people I, I have not been on a plane since I was a child. And if I, when I do eventually go on a plane for a cool trip, hopefully it's work related, KCA, get at me. Um, I'm going to go to my doctor and be like, hey, I have anxiety. Can I get some Xanax for the flight? And uh, if I drink on it, it's between me and the alcohol. But uh, we got about three minutes before we have to get out of here. Cam Gnarly, you want to say anything you want to say? You want to say? Yo, I appreciate you guys for having me. It's been a lot of laughs. Please definitely check out my album. It's, it's available everywhere. Uh, you can find out more about the music on camgnarly.com, C-A-M-G-N-A-R-L-Y.com. Or just follow me on all socials, Cam Gnarly. But North and Gnarly is out right now. It's an amazing album. I promise you you're going to enjoy it. Every song is a banger. If you think I'm lying or you want your your time back, you can call me and curse me out. But you have yes. to find my phone number. I'm not <laughs> going to give it to you. Uh, and, Andrew, I want to say thank you so much for being a part of the show. As always, I couldn't do it without you. And I know it's even harder when you got to take care of someone. But it's fine, and, and we appreciate both you guys. <laughs> hey, shoot at her. <laughs> Just kidding. Much love, Antonio. I'm, we're glad you made it safely. It was very scary during that earthquake. We were all concerned. We were like Concernicus for sure. Am I right, guys? That was pretty crazy. Yeah. It happened live, so that was cool. Yeah, we, we had. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Okay. Right after one of the songs, too. Ed, you got anything to say before we get out of here, brother? No, dude. Uh, I hope I don't get sick. It's telling you it's coffee now. <laughs> 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 Dang it, Antonio! <laughs> oh. No, but uh, it, it was a great show. I appreciate having you, man. Uh, Cam, that, you got some dope music, and honestly, that call and call out one was definitely one of my favorites. So I, I appreciate you being on here, dude, and uh, what you're doing. And I definitely want to, you know, catch a concert or something if you're, if you're playing music somewhere. Yeah, catch the shows again. We um, got some free tickets. Uh, we have a show way. coming up. Yeah, free tickets. Come <laughs> through in Ontario. I'll give you a free ticket to that one. <laughs> Let's go. But uh, I'm in Ontario. Um, oh, that's what I forgot. I'm in Ontario this Saturday. I'm in Long Beach uh, in February on the 7th, and I'm back in Ontario again on the 3rd. I forgot that one. And then I'm also DJing in Ontario at the Ontario Art Museum um, on the 15th, I think, 15th or 17th. So, yeah, come through, you guys. I'm outside, and we can talk about the album, or you can cuss me out if you didn't like it. And you know, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you again, Cam Gnarly. appreciate you for coming by. Thank you. Uh, North End Gnarly, available on all streaming platforms. Andrew Berkeley, Big Dog Tavares. We love you, man. Couldn't do without you. And tell you, glad we, you made it safe. And um, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, any, next time you want any projects, bro, you're more than welcome to come by and promote it. I definitely will. I promise you. And I'll be back soon this year for sure. We're going to push go. this album, but we got some more coming. All right. We're closing out with Dino by Cam Nardi. Thank Thank you know USA. To, let's go. Thank you for tuning to Palm Street and Progress Presents. Come between them and all their little cats with draws. Yeah. It'll be RPTs, Angel Wings, your initials. Yeah.
Uh, all my good deeds got me karmically shining. God's favor turn my call in a diamond. She pleased with the pressure replying. Call a D up with the assignment. No cosign, and I'm flipping with giants. Cuss those that I turn into clients. Inland to the island, we flying. No bad days when you see me, I'm smiling. Uh, yeah. No bad days when you see me, I'm smiling. Inland to the island, we flying. Cuss those that I turn into clients. No cosign, and I'm flipping with giants. Quality up with the assignment. She pleased with the pressure applying.